Hey, what's up, everybody? This is the confessional for Sunday, August 24th, 2008. All right, uh, today was actually my last uh, day to lead worship at the church. Now, next Sunday is technically my last Sunday at First Methodist. But I'm preaching next week, and so today was my first, uh, excuse me, my last chance to lead worship. So it was, um, it was kind of bittersweet, you know. I um, was really excited to play with the guys one more time, and I think they did a good job. Had a very busy day, a lot of stuff going on in the set. Um, we opened with Paul Balash's Stir Up a Hunger. Um, you know, if these confessionals have taught you anything, it's that I love Paul Balash's Stir up a hunger. So that was very, very good. We had a good time with that. Band did really good on that. We actually did a little bit of a longer intro just so that I could welcome folks as they came in and, and all that stuff. And then after that, we had a really long break. Um, we did a senior pastor came up and welcomed folks, did announcements, and then we did a third grade Bible presentation, which is something the Methodists do to third graders in the children's ministry. They give them Bibles with their names on them and stuff. So we did that, and then our pastor did... Uh, this kind of object lesson thing that was going to go with the sermon that uh, that happened later, and so uh, at that point, once we oh, and there was a there was an announcement about our Stevens ministry. So at that point, um, I realized pretty quick we were not going to be done by eleven, which I like to be done by eleven to give the pastors, you know, about about they speak about thirty minutes usually. So we had to be done by eleven, or I like to be done by eleven. And so real quick, I realized it probably was not going to happen. So I kind of look at the band, let them know we were probably going to cut a song. Second song we did was my song, My Lips Will Sing. Uh, probably of all my songs, uh, that one is one of the best received. Um, so we did My Lips Will Sing, did great, did a CD version, lots of energy in the room, folks really singing. We had planned at that point then to do Charlie Hall's All We Need, another one that our, that our folks really like. But that's the one we cut because I wanted to get to our offertory song. So we didn't hit all we need, which is a shame, because we had really worked up a pretty cool arrangement. I thought the band uh, had done a really good job on that. Uh, so instead, uh, just talked a little bit about God's God's goodness and singing because of His love and His and His freedom, and really try to remind folks that, uh, that sometimes we forget how far we've come. We forget what God's done in us and brought us through. So I talked about that for a little while and then segued into praying and just thanking God for that, for how far he's brought us, what he's done for us, the miracles he's done in our lives. And then in that prayer also begin to, to just declare and proclaim him as enough, powerful, mighty, sufficient, um, all sufficient, you know, all those things, praying that prayer as we were approaching offering, which is something I think is important for us to remember when it's time to give our money is that God is big enough, and he is, a, he is a provider, and he is a he is sufficient. He's big. He's the biggest, right? So prayed about that, just sort of praying in agreement about that, and th from there went into uh, another one of my songs, I Am Glad, uh, which is probably our second best-received Todd Wright song. So, man, my eyes look really big. Well, they are big, but anyway... So I'm Glad went great, did a relatively similar CD version uh, with the guitar lead, which we, we usually don't do, but it just felt really good. A lot of good energy on that. Uh, came down for the sermon, and then when we came back up, we actually hit All We Need. I uh, decided to get that in the set. The band had worked on it, so I thought, shoot, let's do it. Um, I was going to do it a little more mellow because it was uh, sort of the ending, and which meant we weren't going to do sort of the A minor, E minor bridge, real rock and roll and weird spacey bridge. And uh, I didn't do the vocal cue. Normally I do a vocal cue, and I didn't do it, so I thought, well, the band would catch it. And the band didn't catch it and went into the bridge. So, yeah. So for that sort of commitment time, that song got a little bit rocking. And so then we broke it way down. We usually come way down for just one line, and we have all we need, and you usually everybody rocks in. Scared that was going to happen, it didn't. So I think the band kind of got the signal uh, at that point that we were not trying to do the full version. We didn't do the big, oh, we need at the end. We just kind of wrapped it up. Uh, and then our pastor dismissed everybody, and we left. And so uh, it was a good, good day. Um, yeah, I mean, it was, it was, it was good. I, you know, 
last days are kind of interesting. I mean, some some part of me wanted to play a lot. Uh, some part of me just wanted to hang out with my team and just uh, maybe not even play at all, just just hang out, talk, and laugh and stuff. So, got another week uh, of clearing my office and uh, getting some resources to the next video guy. We've got a guy who is uh, going to sort of take over for me some of our editing. So I got to get it to him. One cool thing today was, as I'm playing the closing song, we played uh, we played Stir Up a Hunger on the way out. And I look up, and there is, boom, Don Wayne Kreger, and boom, Stephanie Kreger, who are friends of mine from another church in town that I used to go to and grew up with those guys. They're just a tad bit older than me, just a little bit, guys, not much. They're a little bit older than me. Um, but they're bloggers. They're they're relatively new bloggers, but I just, I love their blogs. And so because of that, through Blogger and Twitter and some of that stuff, um, just been able to reconnect with them a little bit. And so just talked to them for about, you know, five, ten minutes after the service. But that was cool. They were there, and it was kind of my last day. And so I was that was really cool. So Don Wayne, Stephanie, thank you guys for coming. That was really cool to see you and your kids. And then... Uh, Family and I went out to lunch. We decided to go to UFO Pizza, and which is just a great pizza place in town. And so we go, and uh, I notice there's some people looking at me, and I can't, like I can't, I mean, they're looking at me like they know me. And when I sit down, I realize it's the family of Artie Anderson. And after just a few minutes, Artie came in, and Artie's another one of my worship buds, and he's a great blogger, and he's just a big old teddy bear. Artie just makes you feel good. And anytime Artie's around things are going to be okay. So um, a lot of you are familiar with the Artie Eats program that I've, uh, you know, enacted, and that's going pretty good. Artie did eat pizza. He did not drink Schoenerbach with it. So uh, I don't know if that was some, you know, somewhat of a not as good to him because I know he likes the uh, likes the Bach with his pizza. I don't know if you, I don't know if you say, like, I'm, I don't, I don't drink Schoenerbach, so I don't know if that means, I don't know. I don't know what that means. I don't know if you can say the Bach. But anyway, so this week, very busy, packing the house, packing the office, trying to get a bunch of stuff taken care of. Next Sunday, I'll have a little reception for me at the church, and I'll preach that sermon. Jeff Johnson's in concert. That's kind of cool for us. Uh, and then Monday, September 1, we move to Tyler. So that's the confessional. Um, thanks so much. These are now going to change. They're not going to be Bethel-related. So you're going to get confessionals from a guy who's brand new in a team, talking about challenges and and successes and failures and all that stuff. So thanks so much for watching. We'll see you. Bye.